Everyone makes mistakes. Things like not preparing for a test or giving a poor presentation may all be put behind us and fixed. But what if you say something wrong to your wife or girlfriend? If you've ever said any of the things in this video, you probably quickly understood your mistake and wished you had the power of time travel so you could go back a few seconds and keep your mouth shut. Friends, learn something from those of us who have gone before you. Even if you want to hurt her, do not ever say these words. In fact, do not ever mention these words at all. Get ready, here we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm rather tired. Mm, I appreciate you noticing. And yes, I'm sick. I'm sick of folks pointing out the Atlantic size bags beneath my eyes. You are not like the other girls. In reality, it's just a way of saying, hey, most girls are lame and you are not. Despite how charming it may seem on the surface, bravo for you. A good variation on this might be to remark, you're not like anyone I've ever met before. Most women don't want to be putting other women down. You were like my mother. Mm, isn't your mother close to 50? I'm a feminist, by the way. When it comes to male feminists, the same rule applies as stated by Margaret Thatcher. Power is like being a lady. If you have to convince people you are, you aren't. Women are aware of that. In the majority of cases, men who go about in pink hats and boast about being male feminists are only using this as a way to get a woman's attention. Real men feminists don't need to publicize their gender politics all the time because they, you know, respect ladies and whatnot. It's just obvious. Do not take this the wrong way, but... So how am I expected to react at this point, right? Just smile. Women aren't here to stroke your ego or lighten up your day, so make a funny face if you want me to smile. Are you on your period or something? No, but I might as well be right now as I'm going to stab you in response to your comment. Out of all your friends, you are probably the hottest. Yet another instance of something that appears to be flattering but is really quite sexist, unless the woman in question specifically asks this. Saying anything like, you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, or something like, is okay, but putting a woman up against her friends as if this were a beauty competition is not the best course of action. As a general rule, it's never a good idea to praise one woman while criticizing another. What the heck are you wearing? Well, now that you've mentioned it, congratulations, you'll have to wait another two hours whilst I pick out another outfit that maybe you will probably hate as well. I had no idea you were this smart. When I first heard this from a man I had been dating for six months at the time, I was admitted to Oxford. I was completely taken aback. Since then, I've heard it several times. Like, what are we doing here if you didn't think I was competent to begin with? Am I supposed to be flattered that you were only interested in me for my looks? Do you typically date ladies that you don't believe to have any real substance? Calm down, I was only kidding. Don't tell me to relax, first of all, and second, if you are sure it was just a joke and not a way for you to shade me without consequences, well, you could have fooled me. Oh please, you obviously enjoy spending money on useless things. If a girl was to say that she doesn't really like shopping, most guys are pretty dumbfounded by that. Most girls actually hate going shopping, so never assume that all women have this innate addiction to shoes. And on the other hand, if a woman does enjoy shopping, there is no reason to get indignant about it just because it isn't a serious pastime like watching adult men wrestle for a ball. I'd really like to hook up with your friend. Wow, what an adorable way to inform me that I'm the group's ugliest friend. Wow, your job, you must get a lot of attention. It's typical, you know, for a man to say something like this in professions where men are naturally dominating, and it initially comes off as harmless and nice, but what you're actually saying is that there was no other reason why people would have paid attention to her other than her looks. You are a really nice person, so you only saw someone's face and thought the rest of her was disgusting? That's really impressive for a girl. Although it's widely agreed that saying anything like this in a professional setting is incredibly sexist, for some reason, many of the women I know who work in sports, where males predominate, like skiing or boxing, still hear it frequently and it's very, very insulting. You are not one of those feminists, are you? Well, what if I was? 
My ex-girlfriends are all crazy. Meaning, when a woman finds me cheating and confronts me about it, I often lie about it and pretend that she is being overdramatic. Aren't you done eating? I'll tell you what, sure, I am. But one last thing, I'm going to devour a full 12 slices of pizza without feeling guilty. It's disgusting when girls curse. Depending on your upbringing, even a supposedly woke person might give the impression that smoking, drinking or cursing is an extremely rude or ugly thing to women, but not men, obviously. While being kind and polite is necessary for both sexes, it is not the responsibility of women to sustain the moral foundations of society. That is not our responsibility, and if it ever was, we would have definitely resigned. Oh, I liked your hair when it was longer. Thank you very much for your unsolicited advice. You are such a girl. You are never doing yourself any favors when you use the term girl to mean lame. You already have a gorgeous body. You don't need to go to the gym. This is another example of a classic comment that appears to be flattering, but is in fact wrong on so many levels. First of all, the majority of women go to the gym either because they want good health, they like the endorphin high associated with exercise, or they do both. Having a good rump has nothing to do with it. Please don't presume that everything ladies do in life is done to arouse your pleasure of them. I enjoy watching girls eat. This is one of those expressions that men wrongly believe is progressive since it appears to imply that women should not starve themselves. However, the truth is that when a woman is overweight, men never mention this. Only those who embody the infamous cool chick chick, those who can smother their lips in buffalo wings and conveniently retain a size two, utter it. Oh, you're still not married. Actually, you're condoning the incredibly sexist concept that a woman's lack of a partner is a reason why she's single. If I'm so attractive, intelligent or fantastic, it stands to reason that I'm single because I'm choosy and have the means to be. I have options, therefore I'm alone by choice and it is 2022 after all. How then might gendered language be avoided in favour of more inclusive language that helps not only women but all equity seeking groups as a whole? Be genuine, honest and kind and the conversation will likely begin in no time. Tell her if you want to continue the chat if the time comes. You may let her know how you truly feel by asking her out on a real or virtual date. Keep in mind that sometimes words aren't as powerful as actions. Be respectful and dignified with women as you would with other people. Simply smile, nod and say hello to a woman if you wish to greet her. Do not blow kisses, honk your horn or whistle at her. The phrases hey baby and hi cutie are insulting and improper when spoken to a complete stranger. Comment down below what experiences you've also noticed when she's beginning to like you. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.